Hello all. This is going to be hopefully a quick video. I don't have much to share, but it's enough. Um, I have a project share and also another haul from Hobby Lobby. Uh, let me show you my project share. I finally finished my, well started. I want to make some more um, chunky charms. I finally finished attempting to make some chunky charms and I love these. And it's a combination of really Hobby Lobby and this is Craft Fantastic. If you've ever been to um, the Scrapbook Expo, um, they are one of the vendors there and I love getting their, their jewelry. So I had this for many years. Every year when I used to go, when it was open to the public, um, I used to always at least get a pack of their um, charms or anything. And you know, they're really, really good quality of um, jewelry. So, and I did attend um, some of their classes too. And let me show you my first Chunky Charms. You know, I wanted to give it a try and it came out really nice. I love the color combo. And these are actually um, the bees from Hobby Lobby. And I don't think, okay, and I love the shoe. See the little shoe there? And. I think the shoe is actually from AliExpress. I love getting the charms from there. They're, they are reasonable. And the, the beads are from Hobby Lobby. From my recent purchase. So I think I'm almost done with the pink and the purple. You know, maybe the next sale I'll get some more. But yeah, the Chucky Charms not too, too bad. I'm going to keep it hanging for a little while just to make sure all the links are are tighten you know because sometimes you can the links are not tight enough so that's one and let me show you this one this one it was hanging like I said the, the link I didn't tighten the link enough and you definitely need lighting when it comes to um, creating jewelry um, so I'm gonna Okay, I'm just going to hold it like, I'm sorry, I'll just hold it like this for now until I can put the, the lobster piece back on. Again, that's from Craft Fantastic and my cross from Hobby Lobby, the tassel is from Hobby Lobby. And I love the, these beads. These beads are so cute. So yeah, I definitely have to get some more. So that's my first one. So again, I just got to put the lobster link back on. Just tighten it a little more. So it can stay on. Um, here's another one. And this is just a little one. And again, these were so much fun to create. And here's my purse. Now this purse is from Hobby Lobby. And I had it in my stash for I don't know how many years. So I think this was the time to play with charms. And again, I was accumulating the beads. I had beads from Hobby Lobby sale maybe a year or two ago that I haven't used. So, you know, once I'm done with this, I'm going to sort out some more beads. And here's some more. I love the chunky charms. And again, everything's from Hobby Lobby. This is, I think, from the Dollar Tree at one time. I'm not sure. Here's another shoe from AliExpress. Like I said, I love getting my charm from there. And super cute. And here's my last one. My last one is hanging. This is my long one. And again, I want to create these to stand alone or to even add to purses. I'm not sure if it's too heavy, but, you know, I will give it a try. Um, beads, create a crown. And that purse is also from Hobby Lobby, um, Hobby Lobby from AliExpress. So here's my, charm, my long one. I could have added some more beads here, but again, this one's... I was just having fun right now just to make sure 
Um, I know how to um, connect the jumper, not the jumper, the um, the links, the um, you know what I'm talking about. These things, just to make sure I can close them correctly. And that's it. And that's for my share project share. And it came out really cute. I really love this. So I'm gonna do maybe the black and red collection next, and the black and white one also from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna work on some older, older beads. But yeah, it came out cute. That's my um, project share. And let me show you. This is what I actually went back to try to find at Hobby Lobby. I did see one on Friday. I should have grabbed it. So of course, when I went back on Tuesday, they were they were gone. I wanted to get another one for embellishments, but I can find something else. So this is where I keep some of my beads. I have smaller ones that I keep other beads in. So and I love it because it makes it easier to grab. You can put everything in color, color, um, charms, or you know you can really organize and see things. So remember this for I don't know how many was that last year's clearance from Hobby Lobby. So I love this. So. Of course, they were all gone. I should have grabbed it. You know, I have to take notes so that next time when I see something, just grab it. Because it may not be there when you go back. All right, let me show you my project share. Not my project share, my haul. I did go back to get a couple more things. I did get some more links. Some eye pins. And just in a different metal color. And I did see some stickers um, that I didn't get from before. So I did see this one tie for the clear. Actually, I went back to Hobby Lobby because I had to return a rug. So while I'm near, why not get some exercise and walk around the store and see if, and for storage options also. So, again, I, I didn't find that storage container. And I want to find that um, also the three drawer um, storage piece from my other video. So, those were all gone. And again, that's another one I saw in the store on Friday, but I didn't grab it. So, I should have. Um, I wasn't going to get this at first, but I was like, that would go uh, well with flowers and layering. So, I did get get it in white and also got it in gold and also I love this paper bag I had to get another one and I love it again this is definitely girly girly and other projects too so I love this paper pack and again even half price can't, can't be five forty nine. so I did get that And again, I had to get one of these. And every time when I see this paper pack, I think Disney. So I do want to make more Disney projects. And you can do it. You can use it for other projects too, but but mainly it's for my um, Disney project. And again, polka dots. I love polka dots for Disney and for others. Um, Parry. You can use that for Parry. Oops. And I do have a similar paper pack like this that I love using. I think I used it on my hats in one of my videos. But, you know, I love the paper. The paper is very good. So I wanted to get another one. So I, I think I'm done with Hobby Lobby now. I pretty much, yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm done. Um, and let me just show you one more item. I love this. Hold on. Alright guys, here's my other item. And this is so nice. Hopefully I'm not shaking. Look at this. I was trying to find another one because this will be good when it's time for you to um, start for um, um what you call that? Uh, you know, um, the expo or anything similar to that. Um, and good for even at home, when it's, you could just throw everything in here for your project. So again, I got all my—I have all my Disney 
items in one bag and my hobby, um, Hobby Lobby. I have my Hello Kitty, my girly, um, and baby. I have them all in different bags, so I just have to pull it. So I can put everything in here and I'm um, just pull it to where I'm going to work and just start working. And I love it because it has a compartment in there. It has this little overlay here where um, you can add your stuff. And it's just really good. Really nice. So this was definitely a good... I, I was shocked that this one was still in the store. So this is this is really nice. So I'm going to use it in a little while to get started on some more projects. So guys, and that was pretty much it. And it's a nice size in there too. Nice size. And that was it guys. So thank you. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.